Welcome back to Code Jogging. In this video, we are going to look at how we can update Android View data. If you've not subscribed to our channel, please kindly subscribe. In our last video, we were able to use Android View to inflate a view in our Compose UI project. So now, what we are going to do is we are going to update the data for the view that we've um, inflated in our project. So the example we are going to look at it here is to perform um, a counter here. Okay, so we are going to use uh, a button. Okay, so when the user clicks on the button, then we will update this test view we have in our Android view component here. Okay, so that, that's what we are going to do. But before we go straight to the point, let's try and then at least add some um, UI design to the test component here. That's the test view here. So we are going to change the test color to green, okay? Or any color that we want. So for us to do that, we have to use the set test color here that you can call our context compact dot get color here then we pass the view then we can call from the color side so let's use this for now we are changing this to black then let's change the test color to um, the test size to maybe 25 okay 25 so test size to 25 and supposed to be in floats okay so now the next thing we are going to do is we have to make sure that we are going to we are going to center um the test okay so now let's remove this line of code okay and then let's go ahead and then apply our normal um Compose UI code to this. So press vertical center. Then we can have horizontal alignment. Okay, down to center. So now let's execute our code. Make sure there is no error here. So let's see the output here okay so now we've been able to modify our test view here so the next step is we are going to add a button and the button we can choose to use um the um test comp um, the button component in the compose ui but for the sake of this video we are going to stick to the use of view in our compose ui project so let's call another view here okay then we can go ahead and then use our button here so let's check the button that we are going to use it seems okay yeah we have it here okay so we pass our data to it then we apply the same thing so with our button what we are going to do is we are going to set the test so click me okay then we can go ahead and then execute our code to make sure that there's no error in our project so far so let's execute our code okay so now we have our button here and then we have our test view here so now you can click on the button so what we are going to do is when the user click on this button we should update this test view okay so what we are going to do next is to set the on click listener okay so we are going to set the on click listener here then we can go ahead and then declare our variable here okay so let's use our 
states so you have to use the counter then remember okay so we can import it here then we can call the mutable the mutable um states mutable states yeah state of then we change it to zero okay so we will update this test field to wherever the user will enter okay so default we are going to show nothing here okay okay let's show you then if we want to update a view component here then we can't do it here because one thing about the factory here is it runs one okay it runs one so it's more like an initializer once we call it maybe once we open our app or once we call this component it runs this one once okay so if you try to update it here it won't work so if you want to update a view then you have to go to the update side because this one listens to any changes to the view that we've manipulated here so we can go ahead and then use okay so or we can just use view here to make our phone easier then we can go ahead and use view dot then test okay then we can say that you you have clicked the button okay then we can go ahead and then use the counter dot value okay we are using dot value because we use equal sign here not by okay so we can go ahead and then use this and then um for this one will automatically convert um the number here to string or we can still for us to be on the safer side we can convert it to string okay so now what we are going to do here is to make sure that when the user click on the button here we are going to increase the value of the counter here so you want to be plus plus so now let's execute our code to make sure that we are on the safer side okay so now yes now we, we we've clicked one oh okay zero so let's click on it again then we've realized that anytime we click on the button we update the test view component okay so this is how you can update a test view component in your you um compose ui project in case you have any question you can leave it at the comment section and if you've not subscribed to our channel please kindly subscribe to our channel see you in the next video bye bye